Welcome to another episode of the PowerPoint Template Fixer, where I take existing PowerPoint themes and templates, clean them up, and share them with you for free. My objective with this video series is to show you why some PowerPoint themes and templates don't work, how you can fix them, and how you can customize them to fit your brand. Now you can follow along by downloading all the templates from the links below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize this free PowerPoint template from Microsoft and how you can adjust it to fit your brand. First, I'll show you why this current theme of this template is problematic because it was not set up properly. And then I'll walk you through the changes and how to make this file more usable by adding the essential slides and layout that PowerPoint needs to function properly. So I'll show you what were the missing layouts and how I fixed them. And then I'll show you how to create a lighter variation of the same theme so to make that a uh, color changes seamlessly between a light and a dark background. Step one is to download the template and you can do that by going to the website create.microsoft.com and you're going to find different templates. In this video I'll be cleaning out this particular file here so if you want to download and uh, follow along. Now, when you download and open the file, you're going to find that it comes with sample content. And this sample content is what is referred to as the template. It's the template is to show the user what is possible with this particular theme. But what we're really concerned with is the theme, because the theme, which is the back end of the presentation, this is what controls the look, the colors, and the layouts. So at first glance, I can see right away that whoever set up the this file has set up customized layouts. And I can also see some of the essential layouts that PowerPoint needs are missing. So already I can tell that this file is going to create some issues and I'll show you how to do a test to find out what is missing in this particular case. Something else I notice is when I click on the text boxes, I can see the margin doesn't look right. So if I click here on the, let me just see here at the top so you can see it. I'm going to right click and say format shape. And now it's going to take me to the side here. When I click on the text box, I can see right away where it says left margin zero and right margin zero. And I know that by default, PowerPoint always has that 0 0.1 uh, inch margin. Now I'm, I'm talking about inch because in North America, we work in inches. If you are somewhere else in the world, this is going to be centimeters for you. So in order to see the basic settings for PowerPoint and make sure that you are matching them, the best thing to do is click on file new and take a look at what is the default on your computer. So when you click here on the text box and you say format shape, you're going to see that by default here, when we go to the text box, PowerPoint has the left as 0 0.1 and the top at 0 0.05 inches. So if you're in centimeters, these would be the settings you want to model. Now, in order to do that faster, what I did is I created a, a blank file. So I created a sample a starter template and I used this to test. So all it has, it has the default settings from PowerPoint. So I did not make any changes because I want to make sure if the, somebody who is starting a presentation, when they merge their presentation with whatever template or theme I'm giving them, is it going to have that seamless integration and easier or are they going to spend hours and days doing manual formatting because that's the whole you uh, you know the use of this theme is to save us time we don't want to be spending hours cleaning out hundreds and thousands of slides so to do that what I did is I have these sample content slides so there's nothing fancy about them but I did add this diagram here more specifically to test the colors so this diagram is using the colors in PowerPoint and it's going by sequence because PowerPoint has a way to work with colors the first four colors of the theme control the background and these six colors here are what will be the default for diagrams and charts so that's why I have them here to see how the colors are going to react and also on the charts this is another default uh, slide from a PowerPoint I want to see how they merge into this presentation and this will tell me what I need to fix so I'm going to click on all of them here and I'm going to click and drag and now bring them over to the file that I'm testing so now when I click on the layout, I can see right away it included these slides. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of the essential slides were missing, which means I need to make sure that they are back in place. Something else that needs attention is when I scroll down here, I'm going to find that this page uh, slide looks really bad. That's because whoever set up this file, they use the title only, which is meant to have a title at the top. That's how PowerPoint works with it. It's the title only at the top. 
And what they have done is they have made it as a full title. They have made it as the title of the presentation, which is not going to work because many times people need to add their logo to the title. They need to have a heading and subheading. So we need to address that and we need to make sure that this is the title. That's not the title. Something else that I can see that is going to be an issue is the color of the background. So the file was set up that where the background is using one of the accent colors instead of the background color. So let me just click on this box here and you're going to notice that the background is using one of the accents instead of choosing one of the background. So anytime we're working with backgrounds, we need to make sure that we pick one of these colors here or we add a custom color, uh, not to one of these accent colors, especially if we want to make sure that our charts are, and diagrams are going to show up properly on this background. So you can see this is an issue here with the color. We need to fix the, the background and use something else or adjust the color palette so it, it migrates better. And the same thing is going to happen with the chart. You can see here on the chart, now with the chart colors, uh, it's not set up where this is showing up as white. And uh, this color here needs to be something a with a little bit more contrast so we can see the charts. So these are the changes that I need to fix to make this theme work properly. Now to fix all of these issues, I'm going to have to go into the back end of the presentations. I'm going to have to go into the theme settings. And to do that, I'm going to click on View Master Slide Master. And now I need to adjust all of these to make sure that they work properly. But since there, a lot of changes were made here and I'm not sure what the user did with the settings, I don't want to waste time cleaning out a file that I know is already buggy and missing a few elements. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to right click here and say Insert Slide Master. And now I, it will Within the same file, you can see here I have two themes within the same file and I can spend my time wisely cleaning out a properly set up theme and making sure that I adjust the colors and the fonts. So step one would be to change the theme fonts to make sure that I'm using the Arial uh, black and the Arial. So I'm going to click here on fonts and uh, I can choose some of the other fonts. So this is your chance if you're customizing this template to fit your brand, pick your own brand fonts. But in this case, for the sake of this example, I'm going to go into the office and I'm going to choose the one that is Arial Black and Arial because that's what the current presentation has. So by doing that, you can see here my file has updated automatically. The next thing I need to do is choose the colors. Since these colors, I'm not sure what they are, but I want to make changes to them. One of the fastest ways to do that is to, first of all, save a sample. So I'm going to click here on the colors say customize colors so I can see these are the colors that they have added to this particular file and I can see where the issue is because from the preview I can see that the hyperlink is not showing so if someone has a hyperlink text you can see here the blue is not going to show uh, the uh, the blue on blue it could be an issue so I do know that some adjustments need to made uh, to be made to this color so if you already have your brand colors this is your chance where you can update them the first four control the background I recommend you keep this black and white all Ways because these are these control the text and the defaults for the charts. So whenever possible, keep that in place. You can change the background to whatever you want your presentation to be to this color, and then that way we can choose it and make sure that these are the accents and that in the preview you can see them properly. Now you can see you see a preview on a light or dark background. So this is where you get to decide: Will you ever be using two? colors in the same file or do you want to create two themes one just dark one just light it's much easier to create two themes because then you can control how the colors will appear on each background so uh, I'll go ahead and do the changes and I'm going to show you my updated files what I decided for the colors and how I approach the layouts and then you can model them or you can download my completed file all right, so here's the updated file that I cleaned up and I'm going to take you behind the scenes to see what changed. So I'm going to go to view slide master and then you can see here that on the first slide, I've made sure that I have all the five elements, including the dates because uh, PowerPoint needs these elements in the master layout. So you can see here they are. You've got the title, the date, footer, page number and text. Whereas when we look at the old file, you can see here that the date was missing. The date was not set up in place and some of the slides did did not even have a placeholder for the footer, which was uh, limiting for some users, especially when if somebody wants to use this presentation and they want to have a full completed uh, dates and everything on the slides. Now you don't have to, they won't show on the front end because this is controlled by the user, but we want to make sure that this functionality is always available. So that's why in my template here and the theme update, I made sure that all of the slides have the uh, placeholders and the user gets to decide if they want to show them or not. You 
you'll notice that I've also had to adjust the layout when there's a graphic we have to adjust where that footer ends up uh, showing up and for slides like this the footer needs to be readjusted so that it does not overlap uh, over the designs now you get to decide based on the colors of your theme if you need to move things around you can notice here it might be a problem to read so depending on what color background you use you can make these adjustments uh, based on these slides when you're working on your presentation it's hard to anticipate and everything because depending on the font and depending on the colors you use some of the elements will need adjustment so i just wanted to show you though the basics are there and now anyone who's opening this new theme they can adjust it to fit their particular styles now something else i noticed that could be an issue is when we have the footer overlapping this graphic now this graphic was there part of their design so i did not want to mess too much with it so this is now where you get to decide if the footer is going to be an important component component of your presentation then you might want to maybe just take that out or find another way to to adjust the design where it's still there or you have some uh, accents uh, you can probably move it around maybe to the top there's many things you can do when you're adjusting the template to make it fit your brands so for example I could probably put it up here and then bring this one down here so it depends on uh, what you need to use your template for you can make these customizations but for now just for the sake of this example I'm going to keep what they had before and I'll let you experiment when you download the file so now something else I added that was not there apart from the footer is you'll notice the cover slide we need a cover slide and specifically the title slide where you have a, a heading and a subheading and we need to give the user an option if they want to add the logo or not so that's why I always make this default sl slide flexible and the user can come in here and then decide what they need to do whereas when you look at the other file there was an issue because they had used the title only and made that the title and that's not going to be working very well for people who need to use basic presentation principles with a heading and subheading so that has changed and some of the elements this one here for particularly where we could be using tables and charts we don't want to clutter it with any background so I made sure that I kept this one clean and then I created variations using this framework with the content now the user can decide if they want some accent graphics they want the content with more images so they do have these options that they can choose from them so I'll let you experiment when you download the file and see how it works something else I wanted to uh, to mention is you can see here that the two content slide was missing so we need the default one which is the one that comes out of the box from PowerPoint however then I added uh, duplicated this and I added the variations that they had in the other template now the variations are the ones where they have one column uh, narrower than the others and this could be great if you have an infographic here or a table and you want some content here so they do have these layouts uh, changes and some of them have numbers some of them don't have bullets so this is where you get to do your own customization with the extra slides but you want to make sure that the default one the two one the two column defaults stays put keep it there because somebody could be merging a presentation and they need the slide if you take it out this is where the issues could occur so you can see here based on the two content we have one two three all based on this two content layout now this comparison slide very few people use it but I also like to keep it in place and you'll notice I've adjusted these ones here as well so that they fit on the corner now going to the light variation actually before I go to the light variation I wanted to show you that icon here at the corner you can see here where it's got that pin make sure that you have that pin and this is the one where it, that shows by preserve master so if I say no that pin is going to go away and what that means is anytime a slide is not being used on the front end it'll disappear from the theme so if you ever have a theme and you find that some of the slides are disappearing chances are this setting is off so always make sure preserve master because you want to make sure that the theme doesn't get uh, uh, altered or, or moved around and now once you have a dark variation with the colors and the fonts if you wanted to create a lighter variation or you want to create a second template some people like to have two themes in the same file so if they have a light or dark variation now this is going to be an advanced feature most people will not know how to use it but I wanted to show you how you can create a variation in the same file and then if you want to you can copy this and move it to a separate file and separate them so what I did is once you've got your setting in place you're going to right click here and say duplicate 
So by duplicating, now you have a duplicate slide. And I wanted to show you the duplicate because this file setting with the dark background, I'm using the background feature from PowerPoint. I'm not doing this manually. And PowerPoint has this feature. When you click here, you're in the still in the slide master view and you click on the uh, background styles, you're going to notice that PowerPoint is going to give you an option to change the background. Right now it's set to this blue because it's using the colors from the theme. And the colors, if you notice here on the theme, oh, it's not going to show from here. Let me just pick here with the fonts. With the theme, you'll notice that these four colors are the background. Now, the black and white, we want to keep as this because they impact the text. But this is the option that PowerPoint gives you to change the backgrounds. So in this particular case, I had chosen the darker blue. If I choose the black, let me just go in here. I want to show you how that would work. If I choose the black, notice that now the background has become black, but the text stayed white. And if I wanted to make it a darker text on white, I can choose the white and notice how it does that automatically. Now, this automatic change you still have to go in there and make some changes depending on the boxes and depending on your theme colors but I wanted to show you how you can create a variation of the same presentation using a dark and light if and if you've set up your file properly this is going to be so much easier for you than doing everything manually for example if you go back to the old presentation you're going to notice that with the background they have kept the light background but what they did is they had clicked here on the format and they made this manually and they chose let me just show you here and they chose one of these colors so now this functionality of changing the background is not going to work notice this is the previous file if I go in here and choose dark you can see here now it's not working seamlessly and now we've lost the the uh, the font color the contrast because everything here was done manually so this is where some of the issues could work especially when you're working with the AI designer and some of the uh, now the uh, presentation creation tools if you have a properly set up theme it's going to work better than if you have all of these manual formatting. So now you know why it's always important to create the theme using PowerPoint best practices, using the background settings, uh, using the right colors, and using the the right fonts and now on the front end when I go to the front end I'm going to show you how this is going to be easier so for example let's go to the bottom here where I have the light version notice because everything is set up properly now I can go into design and depending on the theme I can choose a different theme color so for, you can see here I've created different variations so for example I can choose the lavender and notice how now everything updated automatically of course I might have to go to the back end and change but the text is visible and the main element elements that I chose are visible and the diagram now continually has the right colors and there's enough contrast. So that's what we're doing here when we're cleaning uh, templates. Congratulations, now you know how to fix PowerPoint themes and templates better than most people do. And if you need any support with your presentation strategy, content or design, I'm here to support you. Check out one of my upcoming workshops or done for you services. Until next time, ciao for now.